Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So my name is Alicia and I do subscription box unboxings as well as product reviews. Uh, so today we're going to be reviewing Ruggable and Ruggable is a rug company where you can actually wash the rugs that you purchase from them. So on the very bottom they give you a uh, pad that has some rubber on the bottom of it that actually goes onto the floor part so it doesn't slip and then the other side of it is kind of like a velcro type of situation and then you can put your rug on top of that and um, it'll stay onto that pad and then when you have a spill or you know accident whatever kids pets you can go ahead and just pick that carpet up just take it down to the washer, any size washer, and put it in there and just wash it. So Ruggable has a lot of different sizes of carpets. They have um, like 5x7, 8x10 runners, just smaller sizes. You can pretty much get any size from them. They have lots of different styles. You'll see later on um, that I have a blue carpet, blue and gray, down in my office. I will be showing you that as well as the pad. So one of the great things about Ruggable is I did the first carpet I got, it had the sides of it were kind of um, turning up a little bit. And so I contacted them and I said, you know, that I was really disappointed because it did pay a lot for the carpet and I bought mine the end, I guess, of last year. Um, and they gave me a brand new carpet for no charge at all, no shipping, no nothing. Um, so it was $120 for just the carpet without the pad. Um, and so they did ship that to me totally free and they also let me keep the old one so I do use the old one from time to time when I'm washing the newer one but I don't use it a lot just because the the ends do turn up and it, it's kind of a little bit of a trip hazard um, the other nice thing about it is you can if you want to buy more rugs you can switch them out with the seasons or whatever you want to do you have the pad and you can just buy the different carpets after you have the padding. The, this company I think is really great. Their customer support is great. I love the rug. You throw it in the washer. You um, can dry it in the dryer, but I, I highly recommend that you don't. I think that's how mine kind of got, um, you know, to fold up a little bit. So I just dry mine outside on a line or um, if it's in the winter, I just kind of lay it out in my basement but you can you can certainly dry it in the dryer a lot of the dryers these days have the racks where you can just do like an air dry i think that would be good too uh, but anyway we're going to review this so i will be showing you the carpet and let me know what you think and if you have a rug from ruggable let me know how your rug is working out um, please make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, make sure you give some comments below again if if you have any opinions one way or the other and i'd love for you to subscribe to see my future videos all right thanks okay guys um, this is the rug that I purchased all right so I'm just gonna try to show around here it's blue it's got some gray in it it's a really nice rug you can see on the edges there um, they're kind of like a dark blue all the way around all right so I want to get down here to show you guys how this works all right guys so this is the rug here that i showed you and i'll just lift this up so underneath here is a pad and this pad has a texture to it it kind of reminds me of like a big piece of velcro all right and then underneath this is this is the bottom of this and this kind of has like a gripper on it um it's not it's not um sticky or anything like that but it does stay on the floor and you can actually uh, move this you know if you need to not super easy but not hard either just so it doesn't slide across the floor um, this part the pad can be washed there's instructions for that where you can wash it I think with like a scrub brush or whatever um, I don't really wash mine it hasn't gotten anything dirty that's come through the rug um, but you can vacuum it so mine does get pet hair on it and I do just take the rug up vacuum over this piece here all right and then your rug just basically goes on to it like that and you just smooth it out and that's basically what it is so you can kind of see the thickness of the rug okay it's not uh, super thick all right but you can see the backing of it soft 
and it will adhere to this piece here all right and like I said then you just lay it down and you smooth it out now you need to make sure that it's a little bit over the so the bottom pad is a little bit shorter than the size of the rug itself so when you put it down you'll put a little bit of rug over top of it so I don't put a lot uh, over the edge here just a little bit so that way it doesn't curl up as much um, because it does curl up for me and like I said they they are trying to do better and better with making their rugs but this one's pretty good this is a new one and you can see there's not really much curling happening there but again you do have to overlap this a little bit around all of the edges you'll see uh, that you need to have a little bit of um, overlap on the outside about an inch or so all the way around all right, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you do have a rug like this, please let me know what you think. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and again, um, please give a thumbs up if you like the video. I appreciate it. Thank you.